sales is normally the most important topic because if you don't have sales, your whole if you don't have customers, your whole startup doesn't really make sense. And um, then the thing develops into various directions, and it all culminates in the whole in the question: How can you manage your business better, more effectively? How can you cope better with the complexity? Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a better leader. If you like the contents of my videos, please give us a like, share the videos with your community, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the button underneath this video and switch on the bell so that you're always informed about the latest content on leadership inspirations for entrepreneurs. This video is about a little case study uh, of a problem that I <clears throat> worked on with my client, with one of my recent clients, and how I helped this company to become more successful. Please watch it until the end so that you can take some inspiration with you for your own business. And the initial uh, challenge was actually sales, a sales problem. The a company <clears throat> thought that they were not selling enough, that, well, they were not selling enough and they were definitely not selling uh, with uh, the uh, right hit rate. So uh, based on all the opportunities that they had in the pipe, uh, they didn't close uh, enough uh, opportunities. They were also chasing the wrong opportunities and they were not constantly qualifying. Uh, the uh, opportunities that they had. So the first thing we did, the first thing we did, we worked on the sales steering and how to qualify and how to develop opportunities. That already helped them to win two more deals uh, in the area of 150k each and that uh, solved them a big problem. Based on that we actually found out that um, the sales was one thing, but another thing was that we needed a better basis for the sales and now we were talking about strategy. So the next thing we talked about was strategy formulation. I helped the company to produce an effective strategy in a very, very simple way based on the strategy diamond that I also present in one of my videos here. And that gave a very, very concise view on what the strategy should actually be. Uh, that strategy was very, very um, focused, uh, concentrating on a niche very much on the German market at that time and uh, we develop it together with the client and the team of about 20 people in a workshop, one day workshop. The next question then was how do I actually implement the strategy and for that we defined a continuous improvement program. What did this continuous improvement program mean? It actually meant uh, that we defined a number of projects that individual champions in the company were responsible for that actually created commitment and engagement of the whole team for the progress of the company and everybody uh, contributed. That also meant for the management that they had the buy-in of that company. But then we had the next problem. The people did not know what a project was. So I explained to them, we did a few workshops on project management and I helped uh, the people uh, who, the champions in the company who were responsible for the, for the projects, for the change projects with their project management, uh, how to do the reporting, how to make sure that you're making progress and actually went very, very well because the four or five change projects that we had running in parallel all the time uh, delivered the results uh, that we wanted. And <clears throat> for example, a revenue dip <clears throat> could be um, uh, could be rescued or could be, uh, uh, um, how can you say, compensated again. And that was a very, very important uh, result. The next topic that then came up was, okay, how do we actually manage our time better and how do we become more productive? So we worked on pro productivity and how to actually um, keep calm in difficult situations. That was the next topic. What I would like to say is that that is just an example of how a how working with startups actually develops in my case we normally we normally start with one specific topic 
sales is normally the most important topic because if you don't have sales, your whole if you don't have customers, your whole startup doesn't really make sense. And um, then the thing develops into various directions, and it all culminates in the whole in the question: How can you manage your business better, more effectively? How can you cope better with the complexity? How do you learn to be a leader at the end of the day? And that's why I created this program, the Leadership Insights for Entrepreneurs, the LIFE program, where I teach you in just six weeks with two coaching sessions per week on how to become a leader. If you're interested in discussing a specific leadership, cha leadership challenge with me, feel free to click on the link underneath this video where you can apply for a private session with me. Alternatively, write me a direct WhatsApp. The number is on the screen right now uh, to book this session with me. So I'm really looking forward to speaking with you. This was Armin al Rao from A. Leonard Rao, The Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.